All right, so here uh, we're playing as Aimi with density control. Um, it's pretty far in the game, and uh, I want to show off a few things. We've got various fan suits equipped here. Um, the Toad, and we've got the uh, Toad X gene on utility that allows me to just hop around like him, poisoning enemies as I go. Uh, we've got a uh, Pyro X gene on offensive, which kind of gives my attacks flame, and Juggernaut on defensive, which uh, improves my defense. Um, we've leveled up our combat, so we've got you know various combos available to us, and um, we're just basically fighting alongside Nightcrawler here, taking out various purifiers. What are those green balls? Those green balls are health replenishing, so you've got green, yellow, and blue orbs. Yellow are experience points, um, blue are your mana points, uh, your mutant power, and uh, the uh, green are your health. So as you can see, the Juggernaut defensive has actually given me his charge that allows me to knock enemies into the air and deal damage to them. Um, and then I can just go around and poison everyone here once I get up. Wow. So I'm getting just completely owned here. Uh, this is also probably, I think, on one of the harder difficulty settings. And this is a mutant degenerator. It actually takes away your mutant power over time so that you can, uh, you know, they can level the playing field with you a bit. All right. How's the computer in this uh, game? The AI is pretty good. Uh, it's more crowd-based. Um, a lot of you know rushing at you. A lot of characters with projectiles coming at you while physical as well. Um, and here we are, just taking out various parts of the uh, purifier compound. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a suit that's different from what we had on earlier. This is actually the classic uh, X-Men suit, kind of an inspired by the vintage. Uh, we can change this up. We can go put her back in her civilian clothes, um, or we can go through and put on one of many fan suits that we've got. So, kind of a Wolverine-inspired fan suit here. Um, we aligned ourselves with the Brotherhood in this playthrough, and so she gets kind of her cool Brotherhood suit. Um, what I like, though, is the Juggernaut suit here. And if I were to go through, uh, put on Juggernaut's all of Juggernaut's X jeans. So the suits, how do you unlock them? Uh, you unlock them by collecting um, X genes throughout the game. Sometimes they contain suits, sometimes they contain X genes themselves. Um, and it re you know, it's basically based on luck of the draw and certain, certain specific drops. So now that I've destroyed that, I can actually get my mutant power up to the point where I can do X mode. So there we go. And I'll do my Obsidian Titan. Which is kind of, this is the ultra power for the uh, um, density control. You basically take on the shape of an obsidian titan. Uh, I ran out of enemies to kill here, so I'm just going to wander around, cool-like. It allows you to take enemies out in kind of an area of effect. Before I said teleportation would be a good power, but I'm thinking that mass density is looking pretty sweet by now, right? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You know, just the fact that you can take out large groups and turn into a, you know, badass giant stone golem is... Uh, a-OK -okay with me. So, let's take her down here. And so here we're going to see some uh, interactions with various characters. Um, we got Caliban coming in here shortly. I recognize that voice from the factory. Mutant Co continues. Monitor at the Confirm download signal strength. So in this uh, gameplay, we see Ami mean, take on the Brotherhood, or uh, she's taking on the purifiers right now. And so this uh, this part of the game, it's actually getting to kind of the heart of the conspiracy. Uh, so now I'm choosing, you know, my another power here and taking on uh, purifier stalker. Whoever you are, it is unwise to provoke me. I know. But Basically, you got to take these out of the legs the and drop them down. The one who gives Reyes his orders. Better to say that Reyes gives the others my orders. That is his purpose. And so we've got various other uh, abilities like Quake and Barriers. And so I can create barriers that block enemies, and that when they end up destroying it, it actually deals explosive damage. Except that he belongs to me. And so here we've, yeah, we've got Bastion, and it's kind of the big reveal here. Um, supposed to be dead? who has uploaded his AI into this satellite. And uh, he's been kind of pulling the strings of all these, all the purifiers and all the various characters. Uh, here we're introducing Forge, also making his first video game appearance. And uh, he's been, he basically shows up to interface with machines and really help you out in various situations. So I found some things out. Yeah, that stuff almost fell on my head. 
in the game we've got various dialogue systems kind of in a um, you know sort of Mass Effect kind of way um, you pick various options you kind of explore uh, and plumb the depths of their knowledge of the situation and uh, you end up making choices at various points as well and you know at Silicon Knights we've got a big emphasis very strong emphasis on storytelling um, and what we wanted to do for this is make sure that we were uh, first and foremost telling a strong story um, it's it's an action game it's got good brawling uh, but we want to make sure that we're telling an X-Men story um, and so we try to work everyone in we try to make it a coherent situation and make sure that characters are there when they belong you know Caliban is being used to hunt or to sorry to find mutants mutants are lost he has mutant powers to sense other mutants presence so they're actually using him kind of as a hound to sniff out characters, um, you know, sniff out rescue, means to be rescued. Um, Cal or, sorry, Forge is there to interface with machines and help them out where they need to. Uh, and, you know, we tie it all into the plot to make it make sense. Come on, Caliban. Let's get moving. But where? Too many. Too many. Caliban feels no remorse for Hodge. He hurt Caliban. Stole Pixie. Hodge said taking Pixie's power was a big part of the Purifier's plan. Your power. And we've got a whole bunch of reveals, and I'm going to cut it off before the big reveal comes up. No. Um, but it's uh, you know what? There's a lot of cool stuff ha you know that, that happens, and I'll say that we uh, we shake the X Men universe in a few ways in this game. So uh, a lot so of people. So even X Men fans could keep moving towards it, right? Oh, that's the whole point. We we are making this game for. Uh, everybody, but really we're targeting X-Men fans, people who love comics and people who really love these characters. All right, well, thank you. Awesome, thank you very much.